same time, things are open again. And we're more excited than ever to get our members back on track. I believe that most of the trainers here in this room got into fitness because they want to help people improve their health. Show of hands, is that why you're here right now? Me too. Thanks, guys. I believe that we're doing a great job of working to create a happier, healthier world, fulfilling our public mission statement. But we're falling a little short on our promise to help all the people in our club feel welcome, celebrated, and supported per our member promise. We've limited our capacity to reach all of our members by confining our idea of fitness and health to what looks healthy. And we've created a culture where we idealize certain body types and as a result have marginalized others. To fix this and make members of all sizes in our club feel welcome, supported, and celebrated, I need your help. For decades, we've worked on the premise that weight loss is the holy grail to health and fitness. But more and more studies are showing that that may not be the case. We're seeing people with obesity test totally normal. And we're seeing people that are underweight or appropriately weighted showing signs that are normally associated with obesity. We're finding more and more that we cannot assess someone's health based on the way they look. It's ineffective. However, we can predict someone's health by taking a look at their behaviors. Do they eat their fruits and vegetables? How many times a week are they exercising? Do they get enough rest? What are their stress levels like? These are measurable behaviors that we can work on to implement health across the board. And as such, we're going to work to adopt a more body neutral language in our gyms so that all of our members feel safe and included. And we're going to shift our emphasis from physical outcomes to healthy behaviors when we're talking with our clients. And I see you guys, I, I know it sounds like I'm starting a sensitivity training project launched by some millennial, but I assure you it is more than that. It is about doing what is best for our clients and therefore retaining our members and keeping our enrollment high in training programs. In 2017, the community Girls Gone Strong with 600,000 members asked their community about negative training experiences in the gym. And what they came back with was astounding. 71% of clients working with personal trainers reported feeling, quote, unworthy, discouraged, and that they should not be in the gym based on an offhand comment made by their trainer. Those innocent comments that to us roll off the tongue like, don't worry, we'll get you beach ready by summer, or we're going to burn off that pizza you had for lunch, have really harmful undertones that impact everyone within earshot. The harmful subtext is that these people are not fit enough or good enough to merit going to the beach or enjoy a slice of pizza. And when people feel judged and shamed like this, they very rarely stick to a program. They quit. In fact, 97% of the people in the survey reported that they quit working with their trainer. And 16% of them stopped going to that gym because they felt awkward having to run into that trainer all the time. That's money out of our pocket and that's people leaving the gym. That's people that we will no longer be able to help. If our goal is to create a culture where everyone feels welcome, celebrated, and supported, we cannot continue to use language that demonizes certain body types. We have to stop using the word fat as a negative adjective, and we have to stop implying that one body is better than another. Now, there are huge things that we have to do to implement this, and there are steps we're taking at the corporate level. We've already started consulting health at every size and body positive influencers so that we can make our locker rooms, the gym floor, group exercise classes, marketing material more inclusive and friendly. Our commitment to you is that we're going to educate you on the research behind these changes. And we are going to make sure that you leave here today feeling prepared to implement body neutral language 
in your day-to-day -day life at the club. Fitness is not a look, it's a way of life. And there are so many factors that contribute to the shape of our body, like our genetics, our stress levels, our socioeconomic status, just to name a few. And so moving forward, rather than moralizing a healthy aesthetic, we're going to encourage people to take a more balanced and accessible look at their fitness through healthy behaviors. We're going to expand our view of health beyond aesthetics. And with your help, we're going to help more people more often and create a healthier, happier world. Thank you.